So, hello, uh, my name's Jay Crow. I'm creative director on Armor 3, and today we're going to take a quick 30 minute look at what Armor 3 is, where we are in terms of our development, and uh, hopefully get you excited about Armor 3's release later this year. Uh, Armor 3 is, we, we find it best described as a combined arms uh, military game. Um, so big terrains, big diversity of weapons and vehicles, uh, lots of player freedom and as a company lots of freedom for modding the game and uh, making your own creations as well. So to show you that we're, we're kicking off with uh, our combined arms showcase. Uh, this is uh, the sort of the centerpiece of our beta. Um, in March we released an alpha program. Uh, with that, we were talking about uh, getting the, the core of the game, the infantry, working really well, um, getting it into the hands of our community, the public, get some feedback on that. We were really happy with how that went, and so now we're moving through to our beta program. Uh, what that means is uh, a bit more firepower, a few more logistical options. We can see that evident uh, in this showcase. We've got the uh, we, we have an attack helicopter overhead. We have an armored vehicle in support of our attack. I've got a big AT weapon on my back as well. With Armor 3, we bring obviously a lot of refinements, new technology, a, a nice new lick of paint with uh, DirectX 11. But at heart, it's about giving the player a simple set of tools, uh, a clear objective, and then the freedom to execute that however he feels best. So in this particular case, we're just going down the valley, using the support of our armored vehicle and our uh, attack helicopter, and uh, capturing an enemy position. There he is. This mission can play out differently every time. I think I think this time our, our support helicopter was uh, was shot down before he could give us too much help. And um, sometimes uh, our armored vehicle will get blown up and, and that really changes the complexion of a mission. Uh, that's important in games like Armor where every playthrough will be uh, just a little bit different and the experience that you have will be different from your friends and the stories that you tell about how you complete that objective can be different from person to person. In this case, we have a sniper rifle in our hands and we have a, an a, a artillery strike, close air support, uh, a couple of rifle teams that are at our disposal. We're about half a click away from this airbase here. This is our primary objective. We need to take it from the enemy um, however we see fit. So I'm up here on an observation point and, and down here we're told there's an enemy air, AA patrol that we have to take out. I can choose to achieve this objective however we, however we want. Um, maybe for the purposes of this demonstration, I can use my uh, sniper rifle. Again, a new weapon um, uh, that's part of the beta, part of the firepower that's on offer with uh, Armour 3's beta. And I have to take out this uh, enemy air patrol. Maybe I'll leave one of the guys alive just to see what happens. Um, if I take both of them out, that's going to make life a lot easier for my uh, close air support, uh, which will help me engage the armored vehicles, which I don't have the uh, which I don't have, have the weapons to be able to deal with personally. I can also show you uh, calling in a mortar strike is very simple in Armor 3. Uh, just select the right option, call in the number of rounds that you like. And in about 60 seconds, the mortars will make their way from where they're being fired, a few clicks south of my position, and uh, splash on this target over here. So, and, and that's my helicopter being taken down because I didn't quite clear out the patrol. So, uh, another important aspect of the game, which uh, we haven't quite seen yet, is uh, commanding our units. So far, I've been a subordinate or I've been a, a lone wolf, but a big part of our gameplay is uh, having a squad of, t squad of guys, looking after them, getting them through combat. And our commanding showcase is a good opportunity to demonstrate this. We want to introduce complexity slowly to the player, so in this case I just have four guys that I need to look after. Again, our objective is very simple. We need to find some way of getting to this town and defend it against an incoming enemy attack. My AI guys are, are relatively autonomous, they'll follow me around, they'll engage targets on their own. Uh, I can choose to do a few things like set their combat stance, so here I've made them take a knee, or if, they, if we're under fire I can force them to go prone, but generally they'll look after themselves. 
I talked about firepower and logistics at the start of uh, our presentation. Uh, here's what I mean by the logistical option. Uh, it's one of our new trucks. This, you know, big distances are a fundamental part of what it is to play Armour 3. And things like this uh, transport truck and the, uh, the transport helicopter that we saw at the start um, help you navigate and, and can take uh, big squads of guys around the island. Uh, I'll quickly jump in. Because what I want to talk about is the, the quality of Armour 3's vehicles and the attention to detail we have on things like uh, this, this cabin, which is uh, wonderfully uh, detailed by our artists. Uh, and every weapon, every vehicle, and, sorry, every vehicle in Armour 3 is drivable like this. They all have fully modeled interiors. Little details like the exhaust and uh, the wheels uh, turning in the way that they do. They're just small things that work together to help increase the quality of the game and, and I think it's a real step up from what we've seen in, in Armour 2. So here we can see the new fog, uh, we can see the extra lights that we have as part of the uh, improved HDR technology from Armour 2 to Armour 3. Also see it a few of the new weapons that will be on display in, in the beta as well. And now I've uh, gone up a little bit, we can see the fog cooling in the bottom of the valley. This kind of technology is really cool. It, it doesn't just help with the, the visual impression of the game, but if I'm down there in the fog, I'm going to be occluded, I'm going to be able to hide away from the enemies. It might take me maybe a bit longer to get to my objective this way, so I can make the choice to go up the hill, get to my objective faster. But um, it's basically up to me. Multiplayer is a big part of what it is to, to play Armour 3, and the beta is no different, offering two new co-op scenarios. It also gives me a, a good opportunity to show you the new faction that's in-game. In the Alpha, we had red and blue. Uh, the beta will be bringing green. Uh, this just doesn't, this doesn't just mean a, a new set of vehicles and weapons, but new options for, for mission makers. In this particular mission, uh, we have a green base and a blue base, and we have to defend ourselves against the, the red attack. By default, I'll be on the same team as blue, and we can work together to withstand the, the onslaught of the enemies. But uh, at the end of this mission, there's only, there's only going to be one helicopter that's going to come and extract us. So one, only one of these teams can prevail in the end. It's something like a horde mode, uh, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel with this, but we definitely like to make it armor style, uh, so you get very basic equipment to begin with. Um, it's up to you to, to decide how to defend your base. Uh, you know, we give you the tools to do that, some mines, uh, some directional indicators on your map. But it's basically up to you and your buddies to work out how best to defend this location and hold it against the enemy attack. Another new exciting piece of playable content that we have though is challenges. This is something like a competitive game mode. Um, competitive but with an armor in the armor style. We don't think it's appropriate for our game to give points for headshots or get you to kill 50 guys in um, in a couple of minutes. But what we do want to do is test your skill and your accuracy against the clock. Firing drills and there's four of these that's going to be offered in the beta, offer this opportunity. And also they help players uh, get familiar with the, uh, the way weapons and, and movement are handled in Armour 3. So I'm going to move across this course of fire, targets are going to pop up, I'm going to follow my waypoints, I can use a variety of weapons to uh, take them down, and the idea is to do it in the quickest possible time against the clock. So this gives you a, a, a pretty simple impression of, of what we have to offer with these, uh, this challenges game mode. Uh, this is an example of multi-gun where I have a pistol and a rifle to use. Um, our other courses of fire, something like more CQB where I'm using submachine guns or uh, more long range where I'm using sniper optics. Basically getting familiar with how each weapon handles and where best to deploy it. 
So, so far I've talked about our playable content. Um, I've mentioned a few things about the improvement, uh, the extension of our sandbox with new weapons and vehicles and factions. And I suppose the other aspect of the game I can talk about is uh, our editor. Obviously, our platform is very open. We, we like people to get in and make their own missions and share them with our friends. And to try and help support that, uh, we have a new option now where players can create their missions and publish them directly to Steam in the game. So I would uh, make my simple mission and in the, in the full beta build, I'd click a button at the top of the screen, publish it to Steam, my, my buddies can download it, I can download theirs, I can update it on the fly. Basically, we want to make it a lot simpler to share your content and to get everyone playing the missions that our community are making. I think that's a good sort of overview of where we're at at the moment. Uh, like I say, coming out of the alpha, going into the beta, um, 25th of June is when we'll be releasing that. Uh, and looking forward, uh, Q3 is our final release date where you can expect to find more of the traditional things you expect from armor, like the campaign game mode, more multiplayer content, even more weapons, vehicles, and factions. And uh, we're excited to, to look forward to that time. But for right now, we still want to focus on stability and optimization and basically getting the game in the best state as we possibly can.